Hello, hello. Now that April has begun, it's time to finish setting up the rest of my weekly spreads for the month. My theme for April started with pinwheels because of my love for the song Pinwheel by Seventeen, but then I decided in order to go for max spring vibes that I would add in these cute doodles of bunnies. There's not much more to say, so let's get right to it. For the first spread, I finally did a weekly layout that I've wanted to do for a while. I've been wanting to do a Dutch door weekly to see if I liked it, so I started with a very simple one and just used a paper cutter to chop off about half of the page that would become the Dutch door. Then I started on the sides of the spread with writing April in the lowercase disconnected but bouncy font that I used for all of the titles so far. I used a purple mild liner to write the letters and then used a black fine liner to add a drop shadow to the bottom right of each letter. The next thing I added was a mini calendar under the month. I made sure to highlight the days of the week at the top and the week that the spread will cover before numbering the days. After that, I started on the doodles, which for this spread is a bunny surrounded by some pinwheels. I did this on one of the bunnies in the previous video, but for this one, I added the little bunny teeth sticking out, which I find adorable. One of the most fun parts about drawing little animal doodles is that you can play with their facial expressions and how they are standing. I didn't change the main body shape of the bunny that much, but for the arms you'll see that some are sticking up, some are pointing, or some are just normal towards the center. I also didn't vary the facial expressions on the bunnies too much other than sometimes drawing closed versus open eyes, but by moving the ribbon bow to the ear or around the neck let me choose between a girl or boy bunny. On the other side of the spread, I made a to-do list where I can write out the main tasks for the week. I always find that I often have a list of things that I want to do, but I can't decide what day to do it. When drawing the rest of the pinwheels, you'll see that I added some little tufts of grass to the bottom of them, which in my opinion made the pinwheels look a little like flowers, but I think that they're super cute and still go with the spring vibe that I wanted, so I just kept it. On the sections for the days of the week, I did a simple highlighting of the header and then used the bouncy font that I used for the titles to write the days of the week. The last step, which was also probably the easiest for me, was to color in the pinwheels and the bunny. As my theme colors are pink and purple, I used a combination of lighter and darker shades of these colors on the pinwheels. I definitely think that they look better if you color the center ovals a darker shade of the same color. I used a white pen to draw in the eyes of the bunny, and then I almost forgot to do this on all of the bunny drawings, but I like to finish each of the bunnies with three little lines for blush marks on each cheek. I love how the Dutch door ended up being really simple, and I'll be sure to let you all know next month if I enjoyed using it or not. The next weekly is based off of a weekly spread that I see Amanda Rachel Lee use in her bullet journal a lot, where she separates out the events from her sections of the days of the week. I did this layout once in February, and it's nice to have this separation every so often, but it's not always the most useful to me anymore because I don't attend that many events like I did in college. Anyway, we're adding some more pinwheels and a bunny to this page. If you're curious to know how to draw either of these, I broke down how to draw these doodles more in my previous video. The sections for the days of the week are pretty simple for this month, where I started with highlighting the section header and then writing the day of the week along with the date. Once I drew the outline of each box for the sections, I colored in the pinwheels and the bunny. I used the same colors that I used on the previous pages, but it made deciding the colors a lot easier and made the process of drawing the spread a lot quicker. In February, when I drew all of the lanterns and cow doodles, I mentioned that it took me hours on end to finish the spreads, but this month all of the spreads didn't take that much time at all because the majority of the page is still the original white color. One thing that I love about the Maisie Lane journals is the fact that the paper is bright white rather than having any tan or yellow undertones. I always love how simple spreads like this can be because they come in handy when I'm really busy. Some people ask me why I don't just use a planner if I'm always so busy, but even in busy times, I think that planning my bullet journal for each month helps me to slow down and to relax along with doing something creative each month. It's important to me to always continue pushing my creativity by coming up with the theme for each month and to let my imagination run wild as I put my ideas on paper. It's also the reason why I started YouTube as a creative outlet originally. I'm still planning on posting vlogs and more lifestyle videos in the future, but for the time being, I've been pouring my time and energy into some other hobbies. 
I will get around to pushing my editing creativity once again, but I just want to say thank you to all of you who've stuck around and supported me all this time and are sharing in the things that I love. I always want to continue growing and sharing more with you all. For the final weekly spread, I started on the bunny after writing out April. This bunny looks like it's peeking over the edge of the box for the section of the day of the week. When I started sketching out the spread, I started by drawing the boxes for the days of the week and then slowly filling in the empty space with the bunny, the pinwheels, the mini calendar, the to-do list, and the title for the month. I usually use this planning style for all of my journal spreads. It's usually easiest for me to start with the part that will take up the most space, which in this case is the boxes for the days of the week, and then slowly add doodles to fill up the empty space. Obviously, when I was inking the spread, I kind of did it the opposite way and did the small doodles before the boxes for the sections of the days of the week. I actually intentionally film it this way because I like to let the base ink dry completely before erasing and then coloring. I definitely have been impatient at times and sometimes erased an area on the page before it was completely dry. Sometimes the ink will smudge then, but I usually try to wait around 5 minutes between using a fine liner and erasing the pencil guidelines. It'd be awesome if I didn't have pencil marks at all, but I like to use it to plan my spreads and to see where everything will go before making it permanent with the ink. I don't know if I explained any of that well or if I was just talking to myself, but I think in summary, sketching in pencil is awesome for planning out your spreads, but when it comes to finalizing your designs, it's important to have patience and to let everything dry before erasing the guidelines. I recently re-listened to Pinwheel a ton while editing this video and I really really love the song. It is just incredibly hopeful and it feels like all of the members in Seventeen are just there to give me a warm hug. Their variety show Going Seventeen has been on break so I've been anxiously waiting for it to return. They do have a Japanese comeback with the song Hitori Janai later this month so I'm looking forward to that but I seriously love watching all 13 members and their love and interactions with one another so I'll be super happy when Going 17 returns. Well these are the three weekly layouts that I'm going to use for the rest of April. Let me know what you think and what style you like best. I had a good range from a Dutch door, a spread broken into tasks and events, and a basic weekly spread. I'm excited to use all of these because each week I'll see a new little bunny along with the pinwheel doodles. I'm hoping to post a travel vlog from footage I took a couple years ago soon, but I have no post date in mind. Nevertheless, I hope you all are staying healthy and safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now!